Welcome to Vatican City. We're going to be doing a hotel review, but before we get into that, I just wanted to give you a travel tip. This is the line to get into the Sistine Chapel. The line is over a mile long. So trust me when I say you want to skip the line service. It's well worth the value. Before we unlock the city's treasures, Let's take a sneak peek at this stylish retreat, the La Meridian Visconti Hotel. You will have your choice of city views and upgraded suites or one bedroom accommodations. Now let's see this exquisite room accommodation. Okay, so I just arrived after a little bit of a hectic arrival at the airport and here is my room. This is the La Meridian and Room. And I'm on the third floor. Let's see. There you go. That's my view. And I'm literally just one block from Sant'Angelo. So, so far, really pleased with everything. Here is the fridge. And a little bit of water, drinks, and of course, there's your little tea. I love when I have a tea set. It's always nice just to have a little quick something in the morning. Ah, nice size um, bathroom, and there's my shower. Love it. Shampoo, conditioner. Oh, can't wait to check that out. And so, there it is. Huge mirror. Okay. Of course, you have this huge mirror as well. All right. So, you've seen the room. And that's it for now. Okay, this is actually a nice bonus. Of course, you have the proverbial lock where you can store any valuables and put your own code in. But they have uh, nice slippers as well as a robe for you to use and an iron board, which is not really common in a lot of European hotels. And there is the iron. So that is a huge plus. You will find robes and slippers, but um, having the the um, ironing board is like huge um, because I've stayed at uh, many hotels and that's not always in the room in uh, the continental part of Europe. London more so, but you know, England you'll find it, but not really in uh, France or Italy, uh, Spain too. So good plus. All right. This is a standard double bed room. The first thing you have to remember is to put your key into the slot. Once you do this, you will have power in your room. Okay. So there we are. I like the fact that we do have washcloths because believe it or not, in Italy, you don't typically get a washcloth in your room. Of course, it is a bodet, commode, and a nice size, let me see, a nice size shower. Very nice. Okay, now let's go into the room. Okay, here we are. We have the fridge. Let's see. Oh, there it is. It stopped. Water, juice, a little soda. The room looks pretty comfortable. Okay, 
What do we have? Oh. Looks like that's the emergency exit. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So that is a view of a room. Mm -hmm. What I do like about this hotel is that the air conditioner actually works and you can adjust it. Some of these, it says you can adjust it, but they really don't do anything. So, and again, this is where I just came into. Huge floor, ceiling to floor mirror. All right. So you know I had to check out the rooftop bar. I needed to give you all the tea, and this is it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's especially refreshing when you're in Rome and you can have an outdoor space. It has a 50s, 60s theme menu, and the drinks as well as the food is something to make your taste buds delight. Unfortunately, my filming wasn't the best because I was filming with her camera as well as mine. But you get the idea. It was a theme drink. And he, the gentleman came over to put the bubble into the drink. And then my friend had to burst the bubble. And it was an absolutely beautiful drink to look at. And it was quite tasty as well. And now you can see I have the menu of the drinks and also some of the um, snacks that were also available. So um, hopefully you'll find this helpful and you'll think it's worth coming to this rooftop bar because it really is a treat to behold. Now, I want to give you an overview of some of the common shared spaces of the guests. This is the hallway. Besides the colors being quite comfortable and calming, I have to say that my room was quiet. Some hotels have paper-thin walls. I can attest to the fact that this is not the case in Rome at this La Meridian. So, I was extremely delighted to have a nice, peaceful, quiet room. Now, as you Get to the center of the hotel, which is shaped like a triangle. You'll locate three extremely responsive elevators. And I have to say that I was grateful that I did not have to wait for long periods of time. As you can see, I just pressed the button and already the elevator has arrived. Now, we're about to go downstairs and we're going to check out the lobby area. And this is where you would have breakfast in the morning. They also have outdoor spaces so people who want to smoke are able to go outside and smoke in the back of the hotel as well as in the front. And this is a bar area on the first floor. So it's right across from the main lobby. And this is also where they have breakfast in the morning. So I have to say the lobby has plenty of seating and so it's a nice place to just relax when you come in after a long day or if you just want to get some cool air after walking around Rome for the day. So when you exit the elevators, this is where you are, right in the heart of the main lobby, where they always have someone there at reception to help you. And guess what's coming to this hotel in 2024? A lovely pool, a nice, cool, refreshing pool. So the La Meridian is the place to stay. So for all you Roman travelers, the Lombardy is the perfect place for a base. Until next time, happy travels.